This is a video on assembly drawing and functioning of various mechanical elements. First is post bearing. So here is the animation on post bearing. Now what is post bearing? Uh, these are biomaterial bearings which consist of two materials, a metal shell and a plastic bearing surface. So bearings may do material hote hai, ek, e hoti hai metal shell or dusra plastic bearing surface. Now why the bearings are used bearings are used uh, in order to reduce the friction between two surfaces that are sliding against each other so bushings most commonly used for machinery with rotating or sliding shafts so here is the assembly drawing of pushed bearing there is front view and there is the side view now the other machine element is the radial ball bearing now what is the function of uh, a radial ball bearing? The function of a ball bearing is to connect two machine members that move relative to one another. Two machine members which move relative to one another, uh, connect karne ke liye jo hai, wo hum ball bearing ka use karte hai, so that we can reduce the frictional resistance between them and the loss of power or the loss of transmission in motion is minimal many applications of the ball bearings are rotating shafts and other fixed housings and radial ball bearings are specially designed to withstand forces that are perpendicular to the direction of the shaft here are the various types of ball bearings on your screen now the next machine element is the plumber block plumber block is the most common mechanical element uh, that is used uh, on your screen there is a assembly animation of the plumber block a plumber block is a pedestal used to provide support for a rotating shaft a rotating shaft ko support provide karne ke liye plumber block ka hum use karte hain uh, with various accessories like bearings screws nuts etc and the most important advantage of plumber block over bearing is that uh, it's work fine in any condition and any atmosphere here is the assembly drawing the front view and the top view of the uh, plumber block so the next machine element is the footstep bearing a bearing is designed uh, to support a vertical shaft or spindle typically taking the form of a block having a cavity that accommodates the lower part of the shaft so footstep bearing vertical shaft or spindle ko uh, support karne ke liye jo hai wo specially designed hai and iske andar jo block hai uske andar ek cavity hoti hai jo ki accommodate karta hai vertical shaft ke lower part ko and transmit karne ke liye power or motion jo hai wo use hum log karte hain uh, here is the assembly drawing of the footstep bearing now the next machine element is the piston piston is most commonly used in the petrol engine or four stroke petrol engine or two stroke petrol engines uh, pistons transfer the rectilinear motion uh, and the motion taken from the fuel to the motion of the wheels here are the various function of a piston compression exhaustion combustion and power stroke so these all are the various functions of a piston piston moves in the rectilinear motion and is used to transfer power among the various parts so here is your drawing of the piston the assembly drawing of piston now the next machine element uh, is the connecting rod a connecting rod is generally abbreviated as the corn rod uh, the crankshaft connecting rod mechanism uh, which is most commonly used is used to transform the reciprocative motion into the rotational motion the connecting rod connects the piston to the crankshaft to transfer combustion pressure to the crank pin so connecting rod is basically used for connecting and uh, 
why we use the connecting rod in order to transfer the combustion pressure or the power to the crank pin for the easy working of the engine so here is the animation of the crankshaft and this is the assembly drawing of a crankshaft with its bill of materials on your screen and the next is the crankshaft a crankshaft is used and is termed as the backbone of the internal combustion engine the crankshaft is responsible for the proper operation of the engine and converting a linear motion to a rotational motion linear motion ko convert karne ke liye rotational motion mein wahan pe hum jo hai wo crankshaft ka use karte hain then uh, the next machine element is the flywheel flywheel is the heavy wheel attached to a rotating shaft so as to smooth out delivery of power from a motor to a machine jo inertia hota hai flywheel ka that opposes and moderates fluctuation in the speed of the engine and stores the excess energy for the intermittent use jab energy excess hoti hai hamare paas पावर स्टॉक के अंदर वहाँ पे एनर्जी को स्टोर करता है एंड जब एनर्जी हमारा इंजन प्रोड्यूस नहीं करता वहाँ पे एनर्जी को रिलीज करता है हमारा फ्लाई व्हील एंड हेयर आर द वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑटोमोबाइल रोलिंग मिल्स पंचिंग प्रेस एंड हेयर इज असेंबली ड्राइंग डिटेल ड्राइंग ऑफ ए फ्लाई व्हील ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे गाइज मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन थैंक यू